your booty. Mm-hmm. Roll it like a bitch. Huh? Be back. I have a clean mess. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. You got a lot of makeup on there. Yeah, it's just a those lipstick. Anyways, we back on track. That's a corny, corny joke. I'm sorry. You have to wit- witness that. But, we got Robbie here. You know, I'm going to be racing some open class cars that I finally got around to doing some uh, adjustments to. And after this race, I'll go over what adjustments uh, I have done to these cars. Uh, so, the one we were racing is what? Which one's this guy? This one is Batman. Okay. And Batman is a Super FM chassis. Um, I had a problem my last race with the body getting caught on short drops. It's running pretty heavy weights already, so it shouldn't have that issue. But I noticed on this body, because it has these like fins in the back, um, if you don't have it angled correctly, these become a problem and they get caught underneath overpasses. So, fix that issue and now it's pretty darn accurate and uh, we got Iron Man here. There's a lot been changed on this, but it's running so much more solid. With less talking now and more racing, here we go. Sweet pump. Whenever, whenever you're ready or if you need some help, let me know because I know that one's a little odd. Yeah, we'll watch it. Ooh, that is loud. Ready? That she kicked my butt. <laughs> All right, two new class cars. Here we go. Got it. Yeah. The nails don't really help out, huh? Yeah. For those that who have thick nails, yeah. and you guys doing this, oh man. I'll let when you ready to go. Ready, set, go. <laughs>
Trip the gear, guys. Oh no. Oh yeah. That sounds amazing. Oh. All right. Pink and purple against pink and purple. <laughs> No 
break right there. Anyways, back to two class. Welcome back y'all. So we're here at the garage. Um, <laughs> yes, we're back at the garage. I hope you enjoyed that previous clips of me and Ravi racing those cars because those cars are no longer around. Um, the past couple of days, that, uh, those, that clip is actually a little bit old. That's from last week. Um, the past couple of days, I have been working on turning almost pretty much all my tune class cars into open class cars. Um, and that really has been a journey, um, but I really like open class. And tune class is fun for me and her once in a while, but she even prefers running open class on the track setup we have now. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're gonna get to showing you uh, some tests of the new open class car I have built. You wanna grab it? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. So we're gonna show you what it looks like a little bit, I guess at first, it, the chassis is a FMA, so it's a front motor chassis. It's the newer front motor chassis. Um, and I used on this one, all of the parts I bought pretty much when I was in Italy uh, from Modelismo. They're the 2021 parts. And uh, I decided to go with this front end style if I want to focus. Yeah, there you go. And um, body damper. Yeah. Long tail setup. I actually fused the three millimeter carbon fiber to uh, this thinner carbon piece right here. Uh, meaning it's not just super glued, it's actually fused. Uh, so it's very strong. Um, but yeah, this took about two days to build on and off, uh, more like a day to be honest, um, but it turned out great. Um, this one I've shown you guys, uh, it is just the rebuild of, uh, what was it? Riddler, was it? Um, yeah, it was a, this is the rebuild of Riddler. What was Riddler at? Um, I am no longer naming them uh, DC comic, uh, name so we're going with something different this kind of reminds me uh, of raiden but you know i don't know <laughs> i don't know we don't know we don't i don't know oh yeah. Uh, yeah but 
this is an update of what used to be called Iron Man. I finally feel like it's at, I need to cut these so bad. I need to cut these, I keep forgetting. Um, but yeah, <laughs> need to cut these. Uh, I put these red wheels on. I transferred over the trim tires that uh, I got from Ruben that were on these black wheels. Thankfully, I was able to transfer them over very nicely and um, it looks very saucy, um, I think. Very cohesive with all the colors and uh, silver carbon. And uh, obviously, you guys Last know. Least. Yeah, obviously, you guys know about what was known as Thanos. Um, nothing really has changed on him. I just wanted to bring him out, show you guys, since uh, we are showing all the open class cars. And yeah, Thanos. Oh, we forgot one. We forgot one. Oh yeah uh we have one more open class because this race that's coming up is a open class race that you're limited to only um entering five cars since here in norcal people like to enter a bajillion cars mm -hmm. well <laughs> what was that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so it's kind of uh, really cool that our host Regine is uh, making a rule and he's being really strict this time around that, you know, you could only enter five cars. Uh, he's gonna check motors, he's gonna check gears. He, and on top of that, cars have to be left over by, over by him. You cannot take them back to your pit. So whatever your car is built as, is left as. Um, which I think is really cool because it makes it that extra, um, you know, level of kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It's just an extra level of, oops. And, oh no! Anyways, an extra level of, you know, hardness, I guess. But here we go from the car I just dropped. It's this guy, it's what used to be Batman, the most pink Batman, honestly, <laughs> ever. <Yeah. laughs> um, but I modernized the look a little bit. It seems like with these wheels, it hits, right? With the body damper? Well, it does. But when you have the batteries in it, the body damper hits the batteries. And so it actually rests about right there so it works very good on a track i'm going to show some hey oh, what do you mean you've seen this car run before mm -hmm. uh, but changed up the weights in the rear um tires are changed up obviously with the wheels and running a power dash on this one pretty cool the green green top yeah yeah um Anyways, uh, besides all open cars being where I think they should be, um, <laughs> we're gonna get to testing out the new FMA. And um, after that, most likely we'll conclude the video. Oh, well, let me, I guess, extend this a little bit further. I know talking sucks, but I'm sorry. I'll make it interesting. Uh, can you grab the kit? So the whole reason I took apart all the other uh, tune class cars also is because we used to have two boxes full of cars, right? Now I got one box full of cars um, and this is filled with carbon pieces. So all of this uh, is acquired from taking apart other cars. And I really like how these 2017 carbon pieces look. And I think they would look amazing on an open class car. So my whole theory was to build another open class car with all the carbon pieces I have and some, maybe some FRP and do another 
um, FMA build if this one tests out good today. And we will be using a new kit that I have not opened yet uh, since I don't have any other FMA chassis to go with. I gotta open a kit. So we picked one up when we were at DXN last time and uh, I really didn't want to open this. I thought I was gonna save it because I thought it was gonna be a cool collector's item, you know, whatnot. but here it is. Yeah, pretty cool. Even as a writing, so awesome. Yeah, so sadly, we're gonna be cracking this open, but thankfully I do have it, <laughs> you know? If I didn't have this, then we won't be able to go ahead with the project. Um, thank you, baby. Welcome. Um, but overall, uh, I think it's gonna be cool because Robbie wants to cut the carbon pieces. She wants to build the car, so gonna be making a uh, separate video from this of her cutting the carbon and me showing her how to go about doing the pieces so she can assemble the car and do her first open uh, car on her own. So. <laughs> uh, she's pretty excited and so I am. Uh, me too, like that's really <laughs> awesome. So I, so I am. I can English is hard sometimes. Babbling. Jeez. Yeah. We're babbling now. He Sorry. Just like me. Yeah. Enjoy oh. the testing. Laters. That's what I want. That's the black one. Sorry. 
funny how that works out, right? That's why, <laughs> that's why I left that there because I, don't, I didn't bring any more of this. Mm -hmm. The least is what's going to I'm 
Welcome. Mm -hmm. I think I have a feeling what it, what it is. I'm going to take off this rubber band that I have on here that is basically being used as like, uh, you know how the rest of those cars have springs yeah. on the body dampers to kind of like bring it back down? Yeah. Well, I am using this rubber band. Um, this is using the hinge style on here. Mm -hmm. You see now kind of how it stays up without the rubber band? Yeah. So we're going to see if that changes the bell okay. with how it jumps. Last night, or when I was building the car, I thought that rubber band is gonna help mm -hmm. because, well, all the rest of the cars that I built, they have the springs, you know, in there. Yeah. And this one doesn't, so I'm like, oh, I need to have like a spring back. Okay. I was wrong. It's not the first time. Fused carbon. Boop. Anyways, gonna have to fix that.
dialed. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So we back. Uh, broke the car on testing. Uh, the rear tail end, how it was fused with the, wow, just glued basically. Didn't hold up. Uh, the rear takes a lot of abuse, obviously, um, because you got the, the weight, and then on top of it, it's a brake, then, you know, times it'll go out of the track. Yeah. So anyways, decided to go with this setup now. And it's pretty on point. So I like it. It's working pretty good. And changed up the weights a bit. So here it is. Walmart go. car i'm liking it it's looking pretty saucy and i mean for it having no suspension uh, it's a it's a really good race car um all my other cars have suspension modifications on them so this thing lands into the corner almost as good as uh ms chassis so uh, no complaints here uh, I gotta thank my lady for hanging out with me today. Yeah, boy! And uh, being patient with me so I could uh, design a new rear end for this thing since I broke it. But, you know, it's okay. <laughs> That's why we test. Um, and uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Anything else you wanna say? Bye bye! <laughs> Laters. Have a good day. Or whatever.